हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू फिजिक्स साहब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम इज फ्रॉम क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एंड दिस क्वेश्चन दिस प्रॉब्लम केम इन जून 2020 सो लेट मी रीड द प्रॉब्लम फॉर यू द पॉइंट मास एम इज कांस्टेंट टू मूव ऑन द इनर सरफेस ऑफ ए पैराबोलॉइड ऑफ रिवॉल्यूशन x2 y2 z वेयर a इज ग्रेटर देन 0 इज अ कांस्टेंट व्हेन इट स्पाइरल्स डाउन द सरफेस अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ ग्रेविटी अलोंग द नेगेटिव z डायरेक्शन द एंगुलर स्पीड अबाउट द z एक्सिस इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू एंड यू आर गिवन four options so what is a paraboloid parabola we know in two dimension it is parabola so the three dimensional generalization is the paraboloid so you can consider some bowl like structure as the paraboloid okay let's set this axis as the z axis i hope this is feasible okay now the equation is given to you x square plus y square equals to az a is greater than zero. That's fine. No issue with it. Uh, point mass m is constant to move on the inner surface of the parabola. Let's say this is the point particle m, and it is moving in the inner surface. Uh, when it spirals down the surface under the influence of gravity along negative z direction, spirals down means you can say it is like this along the negative z direction. It is moving. And slowly coming down to negative direction. If this is plus z direction, this direction is negative z direction. So in this way, it is coming down to the surface, inner surface, lower bottom surface actually. We have to find out the angular speed of the about the z axis. So how can we solve this particular problem? So first of all, to solve this particular problem, we have to select a proper coordinate system. So here, cylindrical polar coordinate will be appropriate as per the given configuration. Cylindrical polar coordinate will be appropriate to apply. So as per the cylindrical polar coordinate, let's say the position of this particle is x, y, g. So in cylindrical polar coordinate, we have x equals to r cos theta, y equals to r sin theta. and z is fine fortunately given in the question so we are not take z equals to z so z in the question given x z is equals to x square plus a square uh, by a so 1 by a times x square plus y square so x square plus y square you can see r is r square so it is basically r square upon a understood so once this is found out we can calculate the lagrangian of the system lagrangian is sum of uh, sorry the difference between kinetic energy and potential energy what is the kinetic energy in cylindrical polar coordinate half m into r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus z dot square so what is the value of z dot square z dot square so from here we can evaluate the value of z dot what is z dot it is equals to 2 r r dot upon a so in the place of z dot square we can put this value 2 r r dot upon a whole square fine so this is the lagra uh, kinetic energy minus potential energy m g h h is the z direction z vertical z is equals to this r square by so m g r square upon a now you have to find out Uh, what you have to find out the angular speed angular speed basically theta dot you can see one thing here in the lagrangian theta is missing theta is missing in l what does it mean it means theta is a cyclic coordinate and when a coordinate is cyclic you know the corresponding uh, momentum conjugate momentum is conserved so the corresponding momentum Corresponding to this cyclic coordinate theta is p theta. Okay, so del l by del theta dot. Del l by del theta dot is equals to constant. Let's say that is j. Angular momentum j. Now, if you take the derivative with respect to theta dot, what do you get? You get m r square. theta dot is equals to some constant z so 
we have to calculate the proportional rate. angular speed about the z axis is proportional to this angular momentum theta dot you can see it is proportional to 1 upon r square and what is r square 1 upon r square so r square is equals to you can see a z so it is proportional to 1 upon z and you can see one option will match so it is basically z inverse so it is matching with option c so i hope you have understood this solution if you have any question regarding this you can ask me in the comment section i will definitely try to answer them and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon finally thanks for watching an academy is india's largest online teaching learning platform you can prepare for various competitive exams like csr net net jest iit jam tfr especially if you are preparing for csr net physical science you can join me on an academy plus i cover all the nine units of csr net physical science syllabus my approach is especially i precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic then i discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis relevant problem based on the topic including previous year questions are discussed homework and assignments are also given this is my profile and if you want to join my academy plus process you can enroll for this course and if you are new to this an academy uh, platform you can take an academy plus subscription using our referral code felix app and an academy will give you 10% off so take the an academy plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal thank you